Yeah. In continuation with the previous lecture, we are going to discuss today's regarding the glucosamine. So when you see regarding this glucosamine, it is a compound found naturally into the body, primarily in the fluid around joints. It plays a role in maintaining the health of the cartilage, which is the rubbery tissue that cushions bones at the joints. So it is uh, one of the important uh, component uh, when you're going to be considering regarding the maintaining the health of the cartilage when you're going to be considered. Uh, so glucosamine uh, when you're going to be considered it is amino monosaccharide consisting of glucose and amino acid glutamic acid it is also found in naturally into the body and it's present in almost all human tissues especially in the cartilage tendons and the ligament tissues uh, so when you see regarding this uh, interesting thing regarding this uh, glucosamine it is a precursor of the disaccharide units of articular cartilage that is glycoaminoglycan that is GAG which forms most of the cartilage tissue and uh, uh, so it is having more importance when you are going to be considered. Uh, this, uh, when you see the sulfate, hydrochloride and N-acetyl forms are usually used for the therapeutic purposes and uh, glucosamine is not found in significant amount in the usual diet and must be synthesized by the body and uh, so this ability uh, of to synthesize by own body is declining with the age and predispose the body to degenerative joint uh, diseases or arthritis uh, when you are going to be considered. Uh, so when you see it is uh, regarding here, regarding the structure of this glucosamine, it is going to see 6 h 13 n 5 and amino, it is an amino sugar and a prominent precursor in the biochemical synthesis of glycosylate uh, proteins and the lipids when you are going to be considered. Also it is a part of structure of two polysaccharides, chitosine and the chitin and uh, it is one of the most abundant monosaccharide when you are going to be considered. So when you see here regarding the sources and the benefits of this glucosamine, the bovine trachea shellfish is a certain sources for the glucosamine and uh, it is having certain benefits like analgesic and inflammatory or uh, for the joint hit is going to be important to us. Uh, so glucosamine is uh, building, uh, so when you see here regarding certain key points about the glucosamine, uh, the, uh, so when you consider regarding the glucosamine, it is a building block for the cartilage and also it is contributing the formation and the repair of this uh, uh, connective tissues. Uh, also uh, it is uh, I mean, it's commonly available in the dietary supplement often combined with the uh, quadrantin sulfate. So these uh, supplements are widely used to support joint health and manage conditions like osteoarthritis. So some studies suggest, uh, suggest that glucosamine may help to alleviate the certain symptoms of osteoarthritis such as joint pain and the stiffness uh, when you're going to be considered. So in this uh, disease condition, uh, this glucosamine is going to be helpful to that particular individuals when you're going to be considered. Uh, so glucosamines are frequently uh, combined with another important compound for this cartilage and this uh, compound uh, this combination is believed to have a synergistic impact on the joint health when you going to consider. So this uh, combination with this another compound they have uh, <coughs> important for cartilage and so this combination is believed to have a synergistic effect on the joint health when, when you are going to be considered. Uh, so uh, another uh, important point uh, regarding glucosamine is basically uh, glucosamine is a component of the uh, synovial fluid which lubricates joints and reduces the friction uh, during the movement. So this lubrication is essential for the joint function and the mobility uh, when you're going to be considered. And uh, uh, I, I mean, when you see regarding these the natural sources, uh, uh, glucosamine can also be uh, mis obtained uh, through the diet. So it is including certain sources like shellfish, uh, uh, shells, bones, and the certain fungi. So from the shellfish, shells, bones, and the certain fungi, uh, we will get the glucosamine uh, in our diet. Uh, when you see regarding uh, another important uh, thing regarding glucosamine, it is one of the um, vital component of the cartilage and uh, glucosamine is supporting the resilience and the flexibility of the joint. So this is especially important in conditions uh, where cartilage degradation as seen in osteoarthritis uh, when you're going to be considered. Uh, uh, there is um, although miss, uh, there is certain safety consideration also there so generally uh, consider safe for the most people but the glucosamine supplements can cause mild side effects uh, like nausea heartburn and diarrhea in some individuals and it may interact with the certain medications so it is advisable to consult a healthcare professional before starting the supplementation supplementation 
uh, when you see regarding the therapeutic uses we can use into the joint uh, health uh, we can use in the skin health as well as we, we can use into the animal health and the recommended oral days uh, are nothing but uh, one means 100 uh, 1500 mg per day when you're going to be considered uh, so that's my references thank you